You know what's amazing? I recorded this whole video, but I didn't press record. So we're gonna try this again. Y'all know who it is, it's Roland. Welcome back to the channel. Right now we're gonna do some product photography. I'm gonna show y'all a little bit of my setup, how I do certain stuff. If you have questions, you already know, drop them in the comments below. So we got a simple setup today. Um, we have the newer Vision 4 that we're using, that we're using hard flash, bare bulb. We're shooting on a Nikon Z6 III with the 105 uh, macro lens. And we're shooting some wallet photography that is 100% alligator skin. And it is an unreleased product yet. And when I find more information, y'all can have it. But I'm known for high quality, simplistic shooting for product photography, especially in the Baton Rouge, Louisiana area or South Louisiana area, because it's quite frank, there's not that many, you know, quality uh, creatives that do product photography, that know what they're doing, that's enough for everybody to eat and, and pass around and stuff like that. So, you know, I just kind of want to show you all a little bit of my bread and butter that I get to do. I'll share some of these files um, here in a few, a little bit of B-roll. And so you can actually see the products yourself and then see what we actually come up with. Oh, I also use a lot of my surfaces and backgrounds from replica surfaces. Uh, they've held up well for me. They've held up for multiple years. And to me, they're affordable for the price point. And yeah, let's jump into Lightroom and see the raw photos and see what you can really accomplish with a one like setup and show the flexibility that you get. So right now what we have is some wallet photography that I mentioned earlier. My thing with wallet photography, to me it is some of the hardest photography because it's just a wallet. There's only so many ways you can capture it and depending on the client, if they know what they want or if they don't know what they want, um, it can make it a little challenging. But the good thing about having or doing product photography that I love that I have, that I always like to have a macro lens so I can get in and you can see some of the details that we are able to get um, that normally you wouldn't be able to get with a macro lens. Um, it just, it's, it's just amazing. And so the biggest thing, because they are selling that this is a hundred percent alligator skin and you're selling this as a premium price, you have to show the details and show what the clients, uh, or future customers are getting, you know, so they can see the details that you have uh that's available like i said this is all wrong so you always want to get this as close as possible um in camera you know so you know you don't have to worry about the editing process that you need to to go in and do a lot of extra manipulation if you need to you know love playing around with different angles don't be afraid to to get high to get low i always tell people to get low because most of the time you, you don't see that so make you know like you're saying more of like a hero shot or whatnot a detail of a money clip you know i had to use you get your social because it's magnetic and to get this i had one of my batteries my old batteries i just used and you could just edit that out <laughs> um and just kind of giving the client different stuff that they might not know that they need or want uh, with certain shots just to see what they'll like, what they don't like, you know, what not. So we had all the same with three colors. We had a, a brown, a black, a gray to start off. You know, black to me is always the hardest to shoot um just because of the contrast and maybe because of how i look at always trying to embellish and pull out the black in different things so it doesn't get washed out or lost um even with the contrast so 
this is just a little bit of what you can do very simplistic high quality definition that the client really can see um and i'll probably throw in a couple of these photos uh towards the end or the end of this uh but if y'all like this if you want to see more just let me know always keep on rolling until the next time peace